Hey guys, Flying Dutchie here. Welcome back to the Mongol Great Khan Achievement Run. Let's unpause the game. We are going to attack Jaunpur now. We have two attacks ahead, so we should be able to uh, finish them off. Let's get our armies ready. going to be a big war and the thing is uh, Nepal get some land from it so they could get some uh, rebellions they have plus 15 separatism and that's actually it they need to core their stuff so I will help them we're also going to fight uh, Jaunpur and Bahmanus so let's see how the armies are composed 4-14-2 4-10-2 12 and 4. Hmm. Let's get some more infantry. Just a little bit. Because infantry is getting better, as you can see. And I will give you the leader I still have, the 3 shock one maneuver and they are also at war with Orissa so this is the ideal moment to strike fantastic we are lucky that Orissa declared war we really really are and how close are we of uh, tacking up tacking up very close okay There we go, and declare war. We will do the show superiority. Bachmanus will join. Do you have more allies than Jaunpur? Ceylon. We don't care about Ceylon, he will become co belligerent Alright. Let's see how strong we are. The time is there to see how strong we are. Twenty-three thousand army there. They are way too busy with Orissa. Or not. Uh, shall we do this? Shall we take the uh, the battle? I think so. Yeah, let's see what we can do against them. I want to see how strong I am. Attacking in the farmland, so uh, we will not have a penalty. They have seven cannons though. I mean uh, cavalry. This battle could go wrong actually. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, they have more tactics too. We barely won it. Barely. We need a we need a bigger uh, front line. It's very important. Luckily we have manpower, but they have manpower too, they have uh, quantity ideas I think, yeah, so. Have to watch out. Let's go to their capital. Conquer Hang Song and the rival of our rival, where is Hang Song? Hang Zhao. Hang Song, no. Hang. What? Han. Han zong. Han zong. Han zong. No. 
Man, finally I found it. It's by the yin. Let's take that mission, we will do it anyway. Bye Mercury, see you next time. Okay, army there. Timorists are coming to help. It's very bad because Nepal uh, already took the uh, occup occupation, so we cannot uh, raise this province, which is annoying. We cannot do anything about it. There they are again. They are going here. Actually, go back. <coughs> Let's attack them here. For three shock leader, it should win this. Mm. Nope, I think we're going to lose. No, nope, we are winning. We should start to get more cannons in my armies. I think that's also a problem. Just a little bit more. Good are my cannons actually, yeah, they... It's, it's not bad, but... At level 16 the cannons are great. We fight the past, it fights back. Alright. Go here. Take the next fort down. Ooh, there is Bachmanis. Which tech do you have? You have tech 10 actually. Go. Grasslands. They still have 40,000 armies, so we ha really have to watch out. We really have to. There's another army coming. Going to Kalpi. I would love to take his capital first, though. I think we have to, uh, to let that army go away. Siege what he wants to siege. Yeah, let him siege this one. I want his capital. I need to reinforce my armies. Go out of this army and go here. Please. No, they don't listen. Okay, you died. Uh, morale of armies, yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Going to r fire this leader. And wait with the tech, we don't need it. Come on, don't... Don't stack my army up here. Go here. 
Go to this one. There is the army of Bahmanus, but Orissa is also taking uh, down uh, Bahmanus, so uh, it's good uh, teamwork here. Going to strike from this province because we don't have a river crossing. From this one, we both have maneuver of three, so I don't have more maneuver, so I cannot prevent it. And I think I should do it right now. I don't want to lose this fort. Go, keep one unit here to keep the siege going on, and go back. Wait, when do you arrive? The ninth and the eighth. Yeah, fine. Go. Can this be a stack wipe? Oh, yes, this can. Look at this. Look at this, guys. 24,000 army stack wiped. Wonderful. We have to make sure that we are using our, uh, our combat whiff. That is the first thing we have to do next time. Because then we can flank with our cavalry, and that is very important. Um, go here. Actually, we have so much war score already. Can we peace out for 100% already, or not? Almost. Yes, indeed, Edwin. <laughs> Look how cool I am. <laughs> and some superior cavalry tactics, of course. <laughs> okay, tech admin tech 6. I don't care about the coring cost because we won't have to core anything. Um, no. How are you doing with coring? Not that far though. Not that far. We are almost out of manpower. So we should watch out now. Okay, keep converting. Almost there. Oh, we are gaining this province now. That's really nice, because then I can raise it and give it to Nepal. Nepal has a core here and here. He will uh, get his lands connected again. Hopefully that helps. Let's hope so. Then I think I'm going to uh, annex them at some point because we, really, we need to spend our Diplo points, you know. To something useful. So let's integrate nations. Oh, I think we can do it. Yeah. So they, they will gain two cores. And five other provinces. Hopefully they won't have uh, too, m too many overextension problems. But uh, I will help them with, them, with it. So, there we go.
Oh, it was going to Nepal. I did not check that right, I think. Well, damn it. That was one extra province I could raise. So many points. Hello, Nepal. Here I am again. I want you to take Baisi. Want you to take Katehar. Bahreich. Whoa, that sounds very German, actually. Bahreich. Look now. Gorakhpur. And Central Doab. This would cause them to become overextended. Okay, so we cannot give this one to them. But later on we can. So in this new patch you cannot give more things to your uh, vessel than before they become overextended. So that's also new. I never knew that. But later we can give it to them. Let's remove the fort. And uh, yeah, spend more Diplo points on our gold mines again. Uh, where is it? So now our gold mines are... Uh oh wait, this one is mine as well. Gold, gold, gold. So now we are going to wait a little bit until uh, my manpower is back. And then we will find a new target. <coughs> I think I will go for uh, China again. Feed Miao. Do they claim things? Yes, they claimed some of Yin. So yeah, we are going to uh, feed Miao. That is the next uh, war goal. One army will stay in Nepal. To help with the rebels. This one is going here. Can't wait for exploration. It's going to be so fucking fucking nice. Because when we are going to the new world, I have a surprise for you guys. And that surprise is so overpowered. I think no one did it yet. And... You will think like, how the hell... Is that even fair? But uh, I will I will not spoiler anything. Just wait until we are arriving to the new world. Maybe some of you know it already. First rebel spawned already. Kill them please. I think I can give them land now. No, not yet. Did you be a uh, killjoy and remove the Terra Incognita? What? A killjoy? I again don't understand you, Edwin. Sometimes it's very hard to understand you. It really is.
Okay, do you have any more claims? Yes, you have a claim on this guy. Where is the Yue? It's down here. I can feed those three provinces to him. But I cannot take this myself in the peace deal, I think. Well, that's a lie, I think. I think I have the range. Or not. Hmm. And what about you? Allied with the Wu. The Ning. Where is the Ning? Oh, in, in the middle. And the Tang. Which is only this one. I can eat all of this and give it to, to Meow. Yeah, we are going to do that. Let's, yeah, uh, let's wait a couple more months until we have uh, some reserve manpower. Then we go for it. We were actually very, very lucky that uh, Ming implo imploded, but we are unlucky with the alliance here. Oh, wait. I'm going to take the alliance with Lithuania. Great Britain formed, as you can see here. Man, I wish I could see France. It will happen at some point. Then we can finally see Europe. We can only see our territory that we almost have already. <laughs> we need to see more land, otherwise we cannot expand. Hey, that rhymes. So we have one extra dipl uh, diplomatic uh, relation, but we don't care about it. We really don't. Uh, oh, you know what, let's attack them right now. If these nations we are at war now, go in. Oh, we are going to lose that battle. Retreat the ships. We have a lot of money actually. Let's see where we can build some... Uh, <laughs> ...buildings, but look how bad it is. It doesn't give us anything. Zero. What the hell? Let's build barracks. There we go. Bit more manpower. The thing is, I cannot piece out these guys. Well, actually, I can take this. Oh, I can take this for myself. But it costs Diplo power, which is no problem, because we have a lot of Diplo power. Okay, Meow is going to get very big. 
Actually, I should... Wait. I should vassalize uh, Yin. I should release Yin again. And feed Miao these provinces here. These four. Because they don't have a claim here. So I will feed this one, this one, this one and this one. I'm going to feed these three. And I will release another vessel. And then I'm going to integrate Nepal. Where are you going? Come back. Stack Y, please. You can do it, game. I know you can do it. Good job. Now we have to follow the... Oh, he's going to seize my capital. I'm almost sure about it. Alright, attacking them. Yeah, stack vibe again. Nice. And you can go south and take down the Ning. Alright guys, that was the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. And hopefully see you in the next part where we are continuing to eat China. See you there. Bye bye.